hearing uh, right now where the streams are going and what they're doing. And right now... I don't know what any of that means. So it's a live stream. So we're sending data, the zeros and the ones. Okay. We're sending it through all of this equipment mm -hmm. to Facebook. Facebook and land. And YouTube. Okay. So that data is traveling to these different channels. And I can see that it has arrived at Glocker Realty and Insurance because I can see people are joining us there. And where else can they join us? They can join us at Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. Okay. They can join us at Jeff Frederick with Glocker Realty. Okay. So my Facebook page, your Facebook page. And also your YouTube? We're sending information to YouTube, although it hasn't connected yet. It, it is telling me online. So we are online and live on YouTube at Glocker Realty and Insurance. Good, because that's where my parents watch from, and they would have a fit if they could not see their son okay. <laughs> doing well, a show. I hope that they watch it. I was having a little bit of trouble with getting it to go live on YouTube. It seemed like it was a YouTube problem. I contacted the folks from Restream today, mm -hmm. and they walked me through reconnecting to YouTube. So okay. apparently, whatever I did today worked. <laughs> All right. Yay. <laughs> and I'm sure it was a YouTube problem. It was not a Matt Green problem. I know it wasn't a Matt Green I know. problem. I, I'm, I'm backing you up on this, <laughs> just in case anybody thought different, you know? So we're the cast at Glocker. We are. You want to introduce us, and I'm going to start doing some more wizardry on sure. the controls. Here. You are Matt Green with Glocker Realty, correct? Yep, Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. And I am Jeff Frederick at Glocker Realty. And with us today, we have Lisa Rose. Hello. And she is the happy Zen mama, or at least she's the owner of happy Zen mama. Right? She is. So are you, do people call you happy Zen mama ever? Do people call it happy or Zen or mama? Zen mama. I Zen get that mama. a lot. Zen mama's cool. Yeah. I like that. That's a, yeah. you should be a rock star. It, it should. Yeah, yeah. That was my going to be my name until I Googled it and they said, oh, you can't have that website. How about you add happy? Okay. <laughs> they, That's how they, I got it. <laughs> the internet told you to add happy? Yep. Cool. I like it. I like the happy. I mean, to it, me, that the happy, that makes it. Right. Zen mama's cool. Right. But happy Zen mama. You yeah. can't help but smile when you say exactly, it. Exactly, right? <laughs> so I know there's people out here that are curious to, that maybe not have not visited your store um, and maybe have not met you that are interested in what happy Zen mama is. So please enlighten us. Okay. Well, Happy Zen Mama is a boutique Okay. in Boyertown, and I, <laughs> I have CBD products, and I have lots of fun, snarky cards and gifts and beautiful home decor items. As the people here can see behind sort of. us, so it's, it's, <laughs> we, are, we are at your location today. Yes. Okay. And... I try to source as much as I can locally, at least from the United States. Okay. I have a handful of uh, makers from Pennsylvania. Okay. And I also, as much as I possibly can, try to utilize women-owned small businesses. Oh, very cool. Very so, cool. yes, a lot of my lines in here. And how do you direct yourself that direction? Like, how do you... Well, some of the wholesale... You can go onto a wholesale page, and they have a whole bunch of makers, and you can just put in the specific, I want women-owned business. I want made in Pennsylvania or made in the United States. Okay. I want socially responsible. So you can so really you can just choose, nail it down, yep, huh? Right. And then it feeds you just those qualities. Okay. I also I noticed um, on on your website, um, it's you said fair trade items yes. as well. Yes. Now, can you so – I think I know what that is. But, you know, there's probably people that, that don't know what fair tra trade items are. Can you explain that? Well, it means that the people that are either growing the items, producing the items, whatever, aren't being undersold. Does underpaid? that sound right? Underpaid. Yeah. Exploited. Exploited, Exploited is a great word, say? Matt. 
So there's a lot of fair trade items. And it, it basically breaks down to being socially responsible mm-hmm. and doing the right thing for the people and the areas in which they come from. Right. Right. I like that. I do. That's a good thing. Yeah. So what kind of items um, would we find at, at your boutique? Like what um, – you said CD c- – CBD. CBD. <laughs> Can you explain that because – um, some people might not know what that is. Well, I carry Leaf Organic CBD, and they are the only CBD company that uses a cold press rather than heat. Because if you heat the plant, you lose some of the properties. So they've figured out how to cold press their extracts. And what else do you want to know about them? They <laughs> make CBD you feel is, good. Is, is, can- <laughs> is cannabis? Based well, right? from, hemp, but it comes from right, the hemp plant. right, yeah, which the is the male or the female plant? I, well, you know, so the, fe- no. the the female plant is the <laughs> okay. one that gets the buds, right, and is considered that's the one that has the T. So then it has to be the else. male oh, plant. That's then. the more fun well, I'm one. Not necessarily <laughs> right. sure because <laughs> there are varieties of hemp, both male and female plants, right, that have no THC. And so, if and if they don't if the male and the female doesn't come together, then there correct. there's probably would not be a, right. anything anywhere. So this is <laughs> interesting. So I've done a little bit of research I'm on like, this. I'm blushing well, over I, here. I use I use CBD oil. I yeah. use CBD oil on my shoulder. Okay. And I've done a I've done a bunch of research into this because I, I wanted to see if it would work for me. So, but basically, um, it's hemp yes. or cannabis. That does not have the THC. There's different strains. Right. The stuff that has the THC that makes you high comes from two different strains of the hemp plant or the cannabis plant. That's sativa and indica. <laughs> We're learning a lot today. There's wow. other varieties that don't have THC. Okay. Those are the ones that are being used to compound the CBD oil that's available commercially without a medical marijuana card. Okay. Right. And, and that and so that helps you in what ways like So, well, we have an extract. Some companies call it tincture. Ours is more extract because it's pure, as I said, cold pressed and that goes sublingually, just two little drops. That helps with anxiety and just it I say chill. Like Okay. So where, in fact, we just had a class here on our last Unwind Wednesday where uh, the brand ambassador came in and talked about it. And he actually had a really good analogy. He said, it's not so much what you feel, it's what you don't feel. Uh And that's kind of what you were saying. That's the experience that I have. Okay. So I, a few years ago, um, I hurt my shoulder pretty bad. And um, over the years, it, it obviously hasn't gotten better. And um, when I use the CBD oil, it relieves the pain symptoms that I'm having of the in- injury. Okay. It, it doesn't fix the injury. In right. In fact, I can still feel the injury. Inside you feel the injury, shoulder. but not the pain from it. Right. right. Or it, I still feel pain, but it's greatly reduced. Right. And then because it's relieving my inflammation, the swelling, I get better range the of building. motion back into it. Mm-hmm. So. If I use the CBD oil, let's say for two, three days in a row when I'm really having a problem, I can go for another three or four days without having to use it all. And I don't experience those really hard pain symptoms that I'm having. Very cool. Now, like I said, eventually I'm going to have to buck up and get my shoulder fixed. But for the time being, until I get to that point where I want to... It gets you through. Like It does. So it you're nice. using it, it topically, though. I am. Okay. I have used I have used the sublingual. Mm-hmm. The sublingual. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Exactly. I've used that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking bilingual. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> I have used that um, in combination with the topical stuff. Mm-hmm. But when I started with the stop topical stuff, I only used the topical cream and nothing else. I right. stopped all other pain relief yeah. just to see if it would work. Yep. Right. And I <clears throat> did get a relief from it. I've used the topical in combination with the sublingual one. But I don't necessarily notice it's any more or less effective. You see okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. use it for sleep, honestly. Yeah. And anxiety, but I 
do two drops in the evening. I don't, they recommend in the morning too. I'm not that anxious that I need it during right. the day, right. but I do it in the evening. And then I also have a balm that I have rubbed on, which we have samples of. We can check out all my samples, right. but they just rolled out CBN. And now this is kind of the next wave of CBD products. Okay. And CBN is the product that is supposed to induce sleep. And it actually, as I did some research, it was one of the first compounds that were actually extracted from the hemp plant. Okay. And it's the most researched and most studied. I'm not exactly sure why it took so long to roll out. Right. Is that me? Yeah, we're hearing we're hearing I'm something sorry. over here. <laughs> Matt. I'm going to take care of that. Room. Nobody likes right. to hear their own voice either. There it's go. awful. It's <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Awesome. <laughs> you did a good job, Matt. <laughs> so now, um, so the CBN... So I have my, you know, you have a special honey, and you just have them rub the balm on your so neck. When you're talking special honey, you're not talking about the bee honey. You're talking no. about no. Whoever's right. at home before you go to bed. That's perfect. Let them rub that on your neck and shoulders. Cup of little drops. I think drops. I'm feeling pain in my neck right now. You want to put it on? <laughs> <laughs> I can sell you some to take home for your honey. <laughs> right. I would say to get people, give it a shot. Yeah. You have nothing to lose. Yeah, if you're feeling some kind of pain or anxiousness or, you know, I guess. Anxiety. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I, again, I didn't know anything about it until I decided I needed to find a new career. So I started researching CBD. And I, okay, well, we got to try this because if I'm going to sell it, I better know, really, I I need to believe it because I was a skeptic. Like, really? Come on. But... My significant other, he has, since a child, awful restless leg syndrome. Like, awful. He would get the shit out I of me. I have it too, but not awful. But Listen, I know what you're talking about. We okay. didn't even know. I did not realize that, that it was like a miracle. Huh. Yeah. It was phenomenal. And again, I didn't know that that was one of the benefits of it. In talking to my, my rep, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we've heard that. I'm like, it really did work. So that's what your the base of your business started with yep. was the CBD oils. It just started with CBD, and then you expanded from there. Where yes. did where did you where did you, did you start your business out of your home at first? Or no, I initially went into um, Pottstown. I had a little booth in the High Street Terminal, scheduled to open on March twentieth, twenty twenty. <laughs> Perfect. And right? whammo. Yeah. Yes, we've never heard this story before, huh? <laughs> we've heard it over and over, over and over again. Yep. And at that time that she was going in there, the Reading, not, I, I just the called Redding it the, Redding, <laughs> the Pottstown Terminal. Yes. I always want to refer to it as the Pottstown Farmer's Market, yes. which is located at That's the how corner I know of it. South yeah. Charlotte and High Street in Correct. Pottstown. Mm-hmm. At the time you were slated to go in there, it was It was booming. great. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was almost it was... completely full. Yep. Had a bunch of different shops in yep. there. Food. Uh, awesome honeys, food. Honeys. Honeys, We'll yep. talk about in a couple seconds. Absolutely. Honeys, Flavors Deli, Icarumba Tacos, Barrister's Bagels. Uh, Kiki's Vodka, which is still Kiki's, in there. Kiki's, yeah. All this stuff is going in there. Uh, Jim and Sue's Cheese Steaks. Cheese Steaks. Yep, they're still there. Just, they're doing good. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're doing a they're good doing job well. in there, mm-hmm. too. But the place was packed. It was booming. And then It had can... such a great, funky vibe. It was really yeah. good. Yeah. And yes, then as COVID went on and on, past two weeks and a month. And yeah. people, I like how everybody thought, it was, including myself, well, thought it was going to be like weeks. a couple of weeks. Yeah, you know? two weeks yeah. to flatten the curve. Yeah. yeah. I never, I never, what blew my mind was the, oh. the, what ultimately became the resistance to trying to flatten the curve. Yeah. I just figured everybody would hear the news and be like, okay. Let's do what we got to do. Let's, let's get through it. together as Americans, two weeks Let's power through this. Yeah, that didn't it happen. Totally blew my mind <laughs> no. that it got politicized, and well, here we here we here are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> One year later, almost. So yeah, yeah. So what ended up happening is that when we did phase into yellow, at that point, several of the businesses' leases had expired, and they weren't really willing to take the risk. And I can't blame them to renew for another year right so they you know one would fall out because their lease expired another one went because their lease expired and eventually it became like a ghost town in there yeah so i fortunately only had a six-month contract and 
I will say that from the beginning, I really did want to be in Boyertown. I live in Gilbertsville. I love this community. I love the town. I just couldn't find anything. Again, just starting out with basically CBD. Yeah. Right. And a couple other little fun things. Um, so there was no space. There was one space that was 100 square feet that I was I could do. But then when I talked to the agent, they're like, oh, yeah, there's no heat in that building. So Yeah, you probably no. want heat in your business, right. right? Yeah. So that's – so anyway, the blessing was that I – was there when it turned yellow i tried to be open a little bit on the weekends i had some regulars that would come in and they were lovely and wonderful and i still see them so that's fine but in my being there one random friday some people from town from building a better boyer town came in for lunch we got to talking and turned me on to somebody else who then turned me on to somebody else and then the agent put Monique Becker and I together, and it's formed a great partnership. So I did not so you know didn't her. Know Monique, nope. Before, before this, no, That's good. no. So, and it was very interesting because I looked at her website, and she was like the opposite of me. Okay. She was all, <laughs> all right. like, about she was calm yeah. She wasn't and the holistic. angry then. <laughs> no, not at all. She was just very calm and holistic and. And I'm like, ah, you know, like <laughs> happy Zen Mama is about having a good time. Yeah, That's right, what right. happy Zen Mama is to me. <laughs> right. Yeah. So right, we're like right. yin and yang, and it's perfect. It's amazing. It's been really yin and yang really, works a lot. It I does. Think. Yeah, it's it really been does. Great. Um, I just want to explain for some people because I know we are going live to Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. And okay. I do pick up a lot of people from Pottstown. Okay. On my page. Um, building a better Boyer Town is Boyer Town's Main Street revitalization program. Yes. So when you hear people from Build a Better Boyer Town, that's the organization that's responsible for all the improvements and things right. that you see here along Philadelphia Avenue in Boyer Town. And just so people know, we are at 31 East Philadelphia Avenue yes. in the lovely borough of Boyer Town, 1951. I just Absolutely. Out there. there you go. Awesome. And we have it on a pillow. <laughs> I saw this. <laughs> and, Those and, are cool. and the shop that we're in is um, is Becker Home mm-hmm. and Happy Zen Mama. Correct. Yep. Together. So Becker Home is a – and what does she do? She does custom window treatments okay. and upholstery. And she is a holistic interior decorator and designer. So what does that she's, mean? What does what holistic does that, interior you know decorator what? and designer mean? If you had been here at our Unwind Wednesday event, <laughs> you would have found out. You weren't okay. here on, on Wednesday? No, I'm, I am, I'm going to be completely honest, okay, with everybody right here. Okay. okay. I've been a little busy, <laughs> and I did not do my research for today's show, okay? And uh, I was also dealing with some of the um, technical issues that we've been dealing with. So I don't know. Okay. So I am... Honest to God, just like the mm-hmm. just like the watchers, mm-hmm. I'm learning about you okay. today too. So you know, I did a little bit of homework, and I'm still learning a lot. So, so no worries. She, where can I come? Okay. On the next what? What did you unwind just Wednesday? Unwind I like the sound Wednesday. Wednesday. Unwind Wednesday sounds like a yeah. it's good a fun Wednesday time. to me. Yes. When's the next the ne- one? On St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay. So, and that one is actually going to. F- Feature Monique and her services, okay. and it's about how to add color without regret into your space. A lot of people like to kind of keep everything muted and ball. And you know, we figured spring is coming, perfect time to start adding some color. But the holistic approach is it was very interesting. She did an exercise at the last Unwind Wednesday, which was about self care. So we featured CBD and some of this, and. Um, she kind of has these different quizzes that you actually dive deep into your memory that she pulls out of you what you're comfortable with. What I like this. It, it was really fascinating. It's more than what I thought. So it's a quiz that, that, that does it? She has several different ones that you take, and then like she went, okay, well, timeline, like go all the way back to the first home you remember. And what was your favorite thing about that? And what was your favorite thing about? And then what was your absolute favorite house and your favorite She's space? She's surveying 
preferences. Yes. And then there's probably some so then she pulls that exactly yeah. all okay. into that. I like that to create your because space. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Monique, we're gonna have to do that sometime. Monique, some I'm, Wednesday. I'm actually gonna come down and talk to you because I. You want to get some color in your life. Well, no. One of the one of the services that I offer to people who want to sell oh, their homes yes. is staging advice. Sure. So Fantastic. I have a couple of people that I do work with on a regular basis, but from time to time, somebody's busy or can't do the job, or maybe just doesn't click with the client the way you would want them to. Right. So the more people you can kind of have in your Rolodex who could Absolutely. do that kind of thing. I'm still. And, I'm sure you have people ask you. All the time. Like clients ask you. All the time. Absolutely. And I have some concept of it just by seeing what sells and yeah. seeing the pictures. Yeah. But if you can work with an expert, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who can do it for you. And it, for for the people who I use, it's a paying gig. Yeah. I give them, I throw them some bucks. Sure. There you come go. Home, yeah. I'm going to come down and introduce you myself should. to Monique. See, this is Tomorrow. What... <laughs> We're both here tomorrow. I'm trying to think. My schedule's booked. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, Wait, but we're at the end of the day, that's what this show's about, right? It's about right. making connections Absolutely. in local connections. neighborhood, yep. learning about these businesses, and networking in this new way that we're all using to network with the time of COVID. Right. So, which isn't bad because I think this networking, this new version of networking, is a little more interesting than just having to gather. At one place, they you know, both kind have of their more, benefits. They, of course, I they mean, do. And and there's nothing like meeting somebody in person. We get, we're we're lucky enough to actually meet you in person today. Yeah, but um, there's nothing like meeting people in person. But the fact that people can just watch these shows or, um, you know, and and interact with these shows. Yeah, I mean, and that, get a that, glimpse that, inside. That, that's yeah. really that really opens things up. I think a lot more. It's more intimate. Right. You're getting a really focused look at the business or the organization that we're interviewing on that day. Yeah. Whereas if you went to a business card exchange, let's say, you're only going to hear somebody's 10, pitch. 15, or 30 second right. pitch. Right. Yeah. Right. If you tune into the cast at Clocker, you're getting half hour, 45 minutes, an hour of time to learn about And honestly, that person. it's not a pitch. Like, usually it's just people talking, talking about their right. business. It's, it, and not saying that everybody's always pitching. Right. But I, again, you, because you have the time factor, they don't have to get Lisa here doesn't right. have to get everything right out. There. She's just merely talking and we'll get to it. Right. Right. right? Yeah. Yeah. And that being said, yes. I am having a little bit of problem with the chat function on Restream. Okay. So if people are asking questions, um, there might be a little bit of delay. I'm just going to try to switch over to. Uh, my phone so okay. that I can see what's going on on Glocker Realty and Insurance just to see if we're getting any um, uh, questions coming into that platform. Now, so I, I'm on uh, my page, uh, yep. Jeff Frederick with Glocker Realty, um, but and, and I know that we for some reason we don't see everything that's coming in. Like Matt will see one thing. I'll see something different. So um, first of all, our sound is good. Today, we, well, we heard good. that from uh, Jennifer Ann, which is our producer. And right. our producer the says, good producer. to go. Um, we also have, uh, uh, let me see, Margie Harner is watching. Hi, Margie. Yeah, yeah we know Margie. MJ, yeah, MJ down the street. We're going to be talking about MJ's in a little bit, a little bit later in the show. She's got something going on this weekend. She always has something going on. Right. Uh, Chris Golden was watching. You might know her, Matt. I do. Yeah. She was very impressed with the show or or the the, sh the look of the store. Oh, she nice. Thank you. She sent me a comment saying that um, the store looks neat. So yes. maybe when I come down to uh, introduce myself to everyone, I'll mm -hmm. bring Chris Golden along with me. Nice. She's my lovely girlfriend. Oh, mm -hmm. very And I got cool. I got a... Uh, Margie also put out a shout out. She said, "Hi, Lisa. MJ loves uh, loves you and happy Zen Mama. Uh, great addition to our special town." Oh, yeah. I love Margie too. Yeah, she's cool go. people, and so that's that one of the best things about being in this community is that I really, truly, we moved to Gilbertsville just 
we're coming up on three years now. And that was one things we're we're Lansdale people. We're North Penners. I got gotcha. you. So when we moved out here away from everybody to a house in a neighborhood that we absolutely love, I just kept saying to him, I want I want people here. I want a community. And that's finally what I found here with building a better Boyer Town and the businesses around. I'm actually on a couple of I sit on a couple of different um Boards, boards yeah. uh, or so, committees okay. on with building a better Boyer Town. So what Town. are you doing with build a better Boyer Town? It's always good to let people know what you're up to. Well, I'm uh, on the organizational committee, which okay. is basically about getting the word out there about building a better Boyer Town. I myself didn't realize that individuals could be members of building a better Boyer Town right. for twenty five dollars a year. Yeah. Okay, and that's a pretty good benefit. And I'm also on the. I forget what they call it, but I call it events and fun because that's what I want to do. Lisa, you can be. call whatever you want. The yeah. promotions <laughs> committee. Okay. So we're planning our first event of the season coming out of High Bear Nation. Yep. Yes. That was a good April event. April 17th. Yes, we, we did that a few years ago. Yeah, we participated so we're in that. that. That's a really neat event. Yes, yeah. it I'm comes excited. Off, we're doing we it. And do it we're again. planning it already. It's it's coming and together. It's, and, and I think it's going to be fun. I think that's what people need right now to come. No, they do. I, I'm I'm like so as long, as stirred crazy from in the safest way possible. yeah sure well People so we're we're yeah. limiting we're cutting down the number of tables spaces Spacing them out and by 50 percent. yeah so they have 20 feet and it's an outdoor space. event so it's i think all that, outdoor that yep. helps They're, you're so yeah recommending or requiring masks i read yes. too as well so yeah um so yeah it's all safe and you get outside and you get to be with people again if we can do it we should do it again yeah if we can right it was a good well, event. We can talk to Lisa time. about that. Mm -hmm. So, in addition to serving the community through building a better Boyer Town, is there any other um, charities, nonprofits, any other thing that kind of is near to dear to your heart that you want to talk about how you're involved? Well, I. There's, so going back to the North Penn thing, I okay. am involved in um, North Penn's Nights still for local Nights to us. for Absolutely. Life. Sure. Nights for Life. Yes, is a phenomenal organization that helps um, families in need in the North Penn community. Mm -hmm. Whether you graduated from North Penn or currently live in North Penn, and um, every year we usually have a big gala at the end. Well, it's usually Super Bowl weekend, so first weekend in February. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. With, for a specific family, but then throughout the year, there are smaller ones, like the Cannoneers Club in Lansdale will have a hoagie sale, and 100% of the proceeds, they just did one for a Hatfield uh, Township police police officer not too long ago. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so 100% goes to them. And so I'm involved in that, not on the board, but we volunteer. It's, but it's something yeah. you, yes. Yes. Yeah. And, um I am forever indebted to my lovely friends at the Women's Center in Pottstown. Okay. Because they were, one specifically is an angel to me. Okay. Um, so we're going to start uh, doing an event every October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So October for us, we just, we did a soft opening this October, so it was really just about Halloween, but we have something in the works for that to to bring awareness and take away the um the, the shame of it yeah, that the and there should be no shame there that. shouldn't be there shouldn't there but is. unfortunately the first question you get asked is is what What'd why you didn't do? you leave oh. now that's some people do say that but why didn't you leave so yeah that <laughs> that's a tough like i think no, i think by now tough. you know people would they understand. say it. why yes. didn't you just yeah. leave it's still it's still hard for people because you hear that there's from a lot of family that builds up and those toxic relationships can get really tricky to it's get out it's of. mind games correct yes I absolutely was a, i was a police officer for 15 really? years really um of those 15 years eight i spent in the borough of Pottstown oh. as a patrolman mm. and i've done work with the women's center and uh, Laurel House, mm -hmm. and uh, I've in been Lansdale involved in well, yeah. several cases that we've uh, helped women get through. We've also helped uh, 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 children, mm -hmm. and a, a very smaller but not often talked about percentage of men 
we we did help some some men and some young men especially mm -hmm. um get themselves it's, out of some toxic it is real situation it is real in fact my partner i think that's why we both connect so well because we treat each other with the utmost respect because we both came out of a similar toxic relationship situation yeah. so yeah. it's constantly trying to make sure that the other person's okay right yeah you know yeah. so it's it's amazing now so i'm gonna put this out there i i have another i have another live cast called porch cast pots town mm -hmm. which is very similar to what we do at the cast at glocker but obviously porch cast pots town is pots pots town centric right um when you come down to do that event Mm -hmm. Please connect with me. Absolutely. And I will help you. And I'm sure my co host, Amy Wolf, mm -hmm. on Porchcast Pottstown, we will definitely connect with you and help you get the word out for what you're going to do Absolutely. with the Women's Center down in nice. Pottstown. Nice. I'm, I'm for that 100%. We'll help you out. Awesome. So let's stay in touch. And Absolutely. We'll connect on that way, too. That sounds great. Cool. Yes. 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 So here's the other thing that I want to talk about, man. Those candles over there. I know. There. I'm not, yeah. Oh, which, yeah. So they have some. <laughs> let's get into it. This is an adult show. Mm -hmm. I want to first <laughs> talk yes. about the candles. Tell us the name of the candles. So, and then okay. I want to sniff some of them. Okay. So, we, we, them. We, we are <laughs> becoming the sniffing duo right yes, now. <laughs> <we are. laughs> this two weeks in a row we get to use our, our noses for some good, right? He says, give me a oh, signal. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Is that subtle? <laughs> Lisa okay. Lisa another beer. So I, through Instagram, I follow someone who followed someone, and she was showing her candles, and I'm like, those candles are speaking to me. They're meant for me. Because, again, happy Zen mama here. Right, right. So they're crystal candles, but okay. also like happy Zen mama, they're tongue-in-cheek. They're yes. sassy. Yes. <laughs> so we have our rose quartz. And we have bougie. What is it? Bougie. Bougie. Rose quartz. Bougie. Bougie. I like the yeah. bougie. Poor Lamine. Here we go. You're going to have to read them because I don't have my glasses. All right. So, <laughs> so let's start with the bougie. Thank the God bougie. for good lighting here. <laughs> the bougie candle. Which can be found at Happy Mom's Happy, Happy Mom Zen, Zen Mama <laughs> Happy Zen Mama at 31 East Philadelphia Avenue. Yes, sir. If you want a bougie candle, here's what you're getting yourself into: too glam to give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it, Matt. What is this? I, I can read it, but <laughs> what does got, it? Oh, it actually does it, have. They a have crystal, crystals. It has a yes. Crystal on it. Okay. What does it? What and is the a second owner word? is a Reiki master. She blesses them. She gives them spiritual energy. Oh, all right. Did well, you smell see, the bougie? She's breaking it down. I did, <laughs> I did smell the bougie. Sorry. Let me smell that bougie. Uh, it smelled like vanilla. To what's me. the word? What's the second word on that? Tor tourmine. Tourmaline. 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 Then you read it. It tells you what it is. I think tor. Well, this says is blackberry shade. I don't know what a tourmaline is. I bet you tourmaline is that crystal that is inside. It the, is. It that, and I believe tour. Now, how does the crystal affect is, the scent uh, or it the anything? It's just cool it to have a crystal. Yes, and because they do crystals. each have a meaning, and that one's for protection. The That's tourmaline pro provides yes, protection. Correct, and then. So we just put it in a little. Bougie. I'm a big fan. A little uh, sass on there. Yes. So. All right. So the black <laughs> tourmaline, again, available for sale, twenty five dollars. <laughs> Happy Zen Mama, thirty one East Philadelphia Avenue. Black tourmaline helps protect you from those petty bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got. Ro we <laughs> We got rose quartz here. That's awesome. We got rose quartz. <laughs> I, I didn't know what it was going to say. I, I heard it when you did. I'm not. <laughs> I, and that's why I'm not reading this one yet. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> So if you need some protection from the petty bitches, <laughs> we got the candle for you. <laughs> Lisa, 
Lisa's got the candle for you, man. And there's some of those people out there, unfortunately. We try to stay positive, but every now and then. There's petty bitches. There's petty bitches to deal with. What are you going to do? Light a candle. (laughs) Find your zen. (laughs) And pop a Prosecco. Oh, my God. Little CBD. CBD. Good to go, I hope everybody's having as much fun as I we hope are. So, too, man. <laughs> so I'm this is sweating. I'm laughing so hard. This is the rose quartz. Look, All right, I very, gotta get into this. Hold on, very pretty. Are you gonna let him read? It to it's you? A, it's <laughs> his it's delivery. A, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna let you read it to me because you, your All delivery right. was so. But man, uh, what a pleasant smell this is! Right. I can't wait to hear what it says. This, right. this is the rose quartz. Yeah, and again, mm-hmm. there's a little piece of rose quartz inside mm-hmm. of there. Why do I All think right. the smell actually matches what it says? <laughs> it doesn't. I'm going to go up my nose. <laughs> this one's called, the scent of this one's called Wanderlust. Mm. It's it's kind of, um, I would say it's a little, it's sweet and spicy. Mm. It's definitely sweet. It's, like me, yeah. sweet and spicy. It's for sure it sweet. Like, it's a little flowery, but there is kind of a little, little bite to it. But it, yeah, it's pleasant it's, as could be. Let's hear what it says. All right. Rose Quartz. (laughs) When you're ready to go gangsta (laughs) on someone and have to reel your spiritual ass back in. (laughs) I read the first line and I'm like, I'm like, that's funny. Well, and our best seller, which of course is sold out, was Zen AF. But we sold out like Enough said. in two days. Yeah, so. yeah. My kids are watching. I, we can't be talking. Right. But that's what it was. So then she also has these. She's a Jersey girl. Okay. So it's pretty lovely. Obviously. She's, she's lovely. a Jersey girl. She's a Jersey girl. <laughs> and she's lovely. So she has a few Jersey scents. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not trying to. I've met Jersey girls before. So and that doesn't surprise that me as a Jersey, like Jersey girl. Shore, I was married to I was one. thinking Egg Harbor, but it doesn't, so we're cool. Okay. <laughs> Jersey Shore, Willow Moon Candles. Now, these ones don't have a saying on them. Mm-mm. And um, I don't know. You can what... make up your own saying, Matt. Yes. That one smells like soap. It almost smells like a um, I like don't usually dove. like soap. It smells it like dove soap. Let's mm. see. Or oil of Olay or something like that. It's still better I, than I'm Egg Harbor. I, I That's did, all I know. <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up on Dove, so I'll tell you if it's Dove or oil of Olay. Okay. <laughs> it's oil of Olay. Okay. Yeah, Dove doesn't have that much of a flowery scent. Okay. Yeah. And all this right. is board. Well, it says circus, but it's boardwalk funnel cake. Oh, that's got to be okay. good. It, yeah, it's, it's sweet, though. Did you ever funnel cake with uh, back no. in the day with us? No. Why don't you, yeah, why don't you I, talk I'm, about I'm, that? I'm, I'm an old what? carny. You what? I, yeah, I used to travel with the funnel cake. N- no, crew. you did. Yes, I did. That was my, that was my right out of. That was actually my do- while I was in school job. Summer yeah. times, you guys selling did that funnel for cakes. Years. Loved it. Yeah. And our how traveling like, like sleep there the with them. State area, I would say. We did Maryland. We did Pennsylvania. We did Jersey. We did basically. That's it. Yeah. This smells like fun. But not cake. not not car- <laughs> not carnivals. We'd go to like um, crash shows and stuff. Mm-hmm. Some okay. place that you might attend sometime. I don't know. You guys um, did the uh, um, <laughs> no. I I remember the one you did that I always wanted to try to get to, but yes. I couldn't work with you guys. Was Folk Fest? You guys oh, did- we didn't do Folk Fest. You didn't. Who no, did? but they did, did, uh, they did. They did the ice for that or something. No, they did. Um, and I wasn't with them at this point, but they did. Um, what was that huge festival? The huge hippie fest. Um, Lollapalooza. No, 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 like no. That. It starts with a B. Um, it's killing me I now. I don't know. I know, Bridget. If you're watching, tell us what that tell was. Us what <laughs> yeah, you were there. I always remember at that time. Now we're kind of segueing. <laughs> I, I have a way to reel it back. In. Okay, okay. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> at that time, I was working down at Gruber Pool, which was the community pool in in Pottstown. And every time you guys were off funnel caking, yeah. I would get invited to come. I had to work at my regular job. Right. And I was actually on salary because I was the assistant manager of the pool. So mm. I couldn't break away. I had to be there. Uh, so I, long story short, I never funnel caked. But that, 
does smell like funnel cake. Well, wait. It also smells like vanilla icing. There's like a little bit of It smells yes. like vanilla like, icing. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's good. It's so, good. Well, I got the powdered sugar on yeah. there. Yeah, but yeah, this sure. one is, I'm telling you, I was blown away with this one. Philly soft pretzel. You know, just to, because I love talking about funnel cakes, <laughs> you know, one of the coolest events we did, we were at Meadowlands. We did a race, a car race. And, okay. Um, uh, not in the 500 type cars, but the uh, yeah, the Indy, yeah, the Form, Indy, like the, Formula One, Formula One cars, yeah, okay, yeah, which was incredible because they come racing past right behind us. There's a wall between us, but I mean, it was loud. Oh, yeah, so but it was really cool. We were in the in, in the inner field, but the one of the greatest things that we did at that event is we actually got to walk onto a giant field. Oh, on, nice. on the stadium itself, field, yeah. The field. I mean, of course, not the new one, the but the, yes, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we're on the field, the that's football cool. field. It was really cool. Well, okay, that's, except that's, it was that's a giant. My story, so right? whatever. You were walking on the field. <laughs> yes. If you had a Philly soft pretzel in your hand at that oh, time, oh my it god, would smell exactly like it's this. It's crazy good. It's... It smells like that little bit of brown or black dough mm. on the bottom of a Philly mm. soft I'm picturing it right now. I'm, pic- I'm picturing it. I got, I got the smell in my I head. I don't even know how you do Take that. Take a whiff, bro. It's it. Yeah. <laughs> and, but it still has that salt scent to it somehow. I know. Is that crazy? It does. Yeah. It's crazy. It's good. I, it's magical. I that would make me be, too hungry, that though. That might be my favorite one of the evening. I'm My favorite in the evening was the first one I smelled, which I don't remember even what that was. It was bougie, wasn't it? It was the bougie. The bougie. The bougie. <laughs> but bougie was my favorite. I like the bougie. You look bougie with did that shirt. The, the, did you read the bougie? <laughs> I did read the oh, bougie. Okay. That's what Too started glam. Oh, was that the one? <laughs> that was, started was that the one? Back at a that was so bad. Bad. Yeah. 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 All so right. these candles are for sale. Yep. You're doing the candles. You're doing the CBD. Mm-hmm. On the 17th of March, you're going to have an event called? Color Without Regret. Okay. Yes. And then it's Unwind Wednesday. Unwind Wednesday. Every month we have Unwind Wednesday. But I was going to say, if you can come tomorrow, it's right. our very first fry yay sip and shop from 4 to 6. I was going to say, because today is Wednesday, month. so I was <laughs> <laughs> what does fry yay Sip Fry, and shake? Yeah. That's what I meant. Not tomorrow. Friday. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Like, what's Friday? Sip and shake. Sip and shop. Shop. I like the shake part. What it. part? Well, you can shake if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Sip, shake, and, and shop. Shop. So what? What? Tell so us we about will that. have wine here. Yes, that's good. Complimentary. That's good while people come in and shop. That's all. Okay. That doesn't I mean like much it. more than that. Yeah. And what time does that start? It is four to six four every to six. Friday. Every Friday you're going to do this. This will be our first Friday. one. Yep. Okay. Just starting Excellent. now. Happy Zen Mama. I'm going to throw the address out one yeah, more time. Yeah, one more time. Definitely for sure. One East Philadelphia Avenue, Boyertown, Pennsylvania, 19512. Are you guys on Facebook? Indeed. Happy Zen Mama 68, Facebook and Instagram. There you, there you go. go. Check her out. <laughs> Come down Friday, 4 to 6, for fry yay, sip and shop. And shake. And then. <laughs> and shake. Jeff added shake for you. You can change Wednesday, it. If you want to change it, I will not ask for any kind of. Royalties. Royalties no. or anything, yeah. <laughs> On sip, Wednesday. Sip and March... shake. You know they're coming. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, gosh. That's right. Oh, gosh. Stop. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've reached Zen. There's a whole lot of Zen going on right now. <laughs> How many shades of purple can he do? He's, he's hit a whole bunch of them this, today. This is. <laughs> I wish we had a high def camera because Jeff's turning all kinds of shades. It started right from the beginning. Good job, right man. from the beginning. If when nothing we're... else, if nothing else, we're going to entertain you here on the casting clock. We try our best. Nothing else. Let me finish this off, ma'am. Let me break this down for Lisa. All right? March 17th, Unwind Wednesday. Yes. Yes. Come in for that. Mm -hmm. Friday's Friday. Come in, sip some wine, shop, shake. Whatever it is. Whatever you want to do. Come see Jeff. It's a a lot of fun. To a certain degree. (laughs) That's what I wanted to say. I'm glad you got that out, Matt. We're, We're at about the six 
45 we are on the show mm. see didn't that fly by it did it did we got to get to What did Lisa say when we said she she asked us at the beginning before we got on the air she said how long is the show by the, which she should have known because she should be watching but <laughs> well, well we'll forgive her I, I won't say anything And about that. she said and we said an hour she said what <laughs> <A whole> hour <laughs> But the time goes like this It does And hopefully Why? for the watchers as well I hope hopefully. I expect uh, Hopefully I think we did a lot of laughing today man. Yeah. so I'm sure Laughing's that good I, that has to laughing be helps you live longer. You know that. I have read about that. Yes, mm-hmm. it helps you relieve stress, right? It's Absolutely. A stress yes, and it works muscles in your face when you're mm-hmm. laughing. Yeah, because your face muscles will work out. Right. I did hear about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can go to the gym and get a body workout, but to get the face workout, you got to laugh. You got to laugh. You gotta laugh. All right. What is going down in Boyertown, So I, So, you know, it's funny that you bring that up. <laughs> um, you know, so I was talking to my mom this week, right? And she said, and, and we were talking about last week's show and my blog. And um, last week on my blog, I had uh, interesting facts, okay? Like, not your normal facts, like interesting, crazy, weird okay. And we talked about we discussed it a few of them. It was kind of like a little bit like Ripley's Believe. Yeah, it or like not. did you know? Right, yeah. Ripley's Believe It or Not. That's good. Um, and so I was talking to my mom about the facts, and she's oh, she's like you know, and she and I only did a few of them. I didn't do all of them. That's on my blog, right? Which is uh, what's going down in Boyertown on the website JeffKnowsBoyertown dot com. Anyway, so. <laughs> She asked about, and she said, she's like, oh, she's like, she's like, I wonder what else you had on there. I'm like, well, mom, why don't you just go and look it up in the website? And she's like, or on my blog. And she said, well, I don't know how to get to your blog. I'm like, every single week you watch this show. I love you, mom. (laughs) Every single week week you watch a show. And every single week I say, go to jeffknowsboyertown.com. And my blog is what's going down in Boyertown. She didn't understand that it's just a regular website yeah so oh, okay. so i'm going to clarify today yeah that it is just a regular website that anybody can go to as long as you have the internet capability somehow or another <laughs> and it's www which we kind of leave out these days dot jeff knows and the blog is just a, a weekly article that that it's an event guide and then also i also discuss something on it um it's so it's it's a. I'll even break it down even awesome. further. I'd appreciate can, that. Yeah, if I can, it's basically a digital community newspaper. Okay. Yeah, you have you have an article, right? Something of local interest, correct? And then you have the events page. Yes. So imagine you're and it's all in one though. All in one. Yeah. So it's Jeff's mom. Mom, <laughs> hi. <laughs> it's Boyertown local news yeah all in one but you're not going to get any kind of really no it's hardcore news it's just slice of life right yes slice of life newsletter yeah um it would be like the um community section of a larger newspaper right you're doing something of local interest Mm -hmm. and then what's going on in the neighborhood for people to entertain yes yep events that are happening throughout the area not just Boyertown. Are you a member of Building a Better Boyertown? I am. Of course I'm a member of – I'm a proud member of Building a Better Boyertown. Yeah. Yes, for we, years now. Yeah. And yes. Glocker Realty Insurance is uh, Build a Better Boyertown. Mm. And yeah. I was on the board of Build a, Build a Better Boyertown. Building. For building a Better Boyertown. Yeah. For roughly a year. Yeah. Roughly a year. Yeah. Yeah. So I we, guess probably I didn't meet anybody because COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah, you it, you probably were just coming to the board as I was taking a step back. No, because I just we just opened. We had our grand opening November twelfth. Okay. So which we're, um, which was on the event blog? New. There you go. Jeff right? knows Boyertown. Yeah. Yeah. All you really need to do, I've done it myself. Yes. Is go to your uh, search engine, mm-hmm. Google, Safari, Yahoo, Bing whatever your search engine is, and just type in the search engine, Jeff Knows Boyertown. 
it pops right up. Yes. Yep. I've had to have the same conversation with my mom. No, so I yeah, I and I'm sorry for this long winded explanation, but with my it with my own mom me. telling me this, I realized that there's a lot of people out there just like blog. I don't know what a blog is. Right. A blog is just an article. That's all it is. It's a yeah. and, and usually the article that comes about at a you know a weekly or monthly or 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 you know more than once right yeah and really if you think about the beginning of the castic locker i've lost track of how many episodes we have now we are on 18 this is the 18th this episode is episode 18 yeah what we were trying to do with the castic locker was bring jeff's blog to life and that's exactly what matt said when he called me to to do this because nice. this is Matt's idea. He already had his podcast, pod, Porchcast Pottstown uh, podcast going. And he said, you don't want to do the same thing, but we want, I want to bring your blog to life, which is very awesome. Cool. And I was like, let's cool. do it. Yes. Here we are. And here, here we, we are. are. <laughs> so anyway. Making so, new friends. So I think we made a <laughs> clear explanation Absolutely. of yeah. what um, what what's going down in Boyertown and Jeff knows Boyertown.com is. So... <laughs> We'll go past that, and we're going to go to what is the blog about this week? It is about gardening. Now, you think, oh, my God, there's still snow on the ground. Why would you talk about gardening at this point? Well, I'll tell you why, because you can start your garden indoors. Are you a gardener? I try. Okay. <laughs> well, I for the first time, I tried starting my seeds indoors last year. And I loved it. You love, I mean, my kids loved it too. They're watching the seedlings grow. That's awesome. Yeah. And they, and yeah, they pop awesome. up quick. And, and, you know, just seeing it come to life. And you know exactly where these came from. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not going to a store and buying them mm-hmm. and saying, you know, did they spray them or whatever. Right. You know exactly where you got these. You got these from seed. If you did it organically, then you did it organically. If not, then you didn't. But you know at least, right? right. So I did tomatoes. I just did tomatoes last year. And, I loved it. The tomatoes came out the probably the best tomatoes I ever had. Yep. And uh, did you notice that it increased your yield? Yeah. Because you started them earlier. I, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I was actually a little bit late last year, and that's why I'm doing this blog now because to plant the seeds to get the <laughs> to get the seeds going at the proper time. Can gotcha. I tell you if you plant basil? Okay. With your tomatoes, phenomenal, and then you have caprese. There yeah. you go. That's what we did. It was wow. phenomenal getting That's... our the basil just takes off like crazy. It does. And the tomatoes, like you said, there's nothing like the homegrown stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I did cukes. They take over. I'm not doing them again. I love. I I do all always do well with my cukes. Yeah. They take over though. I didn't have good <laughs> luck because we got a squash borer. And uh, the squash borer also attacked the cucumbers. It basically attacks squash. Yeah. But any kind of the any kind of insect? melon like that. Yeah. Oh. And I've it actually heard of that. it bores into the vine. Oh. And it cuts off the nutrients, and it kill it ultimately kills. Did them. you look to see how you can stop that, or? Yeah, and now I know how to I know how to deal with it now. But we didn't. Know Do you want what to tell everybody? Is it easy? Um. There's some all natural remedies which we did try, which you really, really have to apply on a regular basis. There's a compound that you can make with a uh, talcum powder okay. and dish soap that needs to be applied almost on a daily basis. Wow! Um, we to the did, soil or to the plant? To the plant itself. Yeah, to the plant itself. And when you see the eggs, there's eggs. You have mm. to crush them by hand, and then also. The eggs are really, really, really tiny. Yeah. And they just pop. It's almost like popping a, um, a little miniature. Um, <laughs> you know the know bubble you mean. wrap. Bubble yes, we wrap. know what you mean. Yes, yeah. that's now. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> well, knock on wood, I've we, never we had we a problem with that. that. To, be, to be honest with you, what worked the best was a little bit of seven dust. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I tried to be as judicious as possible. Because I know it's no bueno. Yeah, but it did. It did that. Well, that it's going to work. I think there's some other natural remedies that we just didn't have the time to mix up. Mm-hmm. So this year, as part of my preparation, I'm going to try to mix up in advance a little more 
uh, of the natural remedies. Is there something you could do pre preventatively to the soil when you prepare the soil? That, I don't know. I didn't research that, but that's a very good question. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, your blog. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, I mean, uh, so this year I'm, I'm going to expand my garden and – or my – indoor gardening to and you know just to just as for the seedlings and then bring them outside to my f full size garden in the dirt blah 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 um and but i was wondering and i and i'm assuming other people are wondering is what ones do you want to start indoors because not all like to be transplanted right uh not all um and you don't know there's different times and everything when you're supposed to start them mm -hmm. as seedlings when they're supposed to go outside you know, and that, and a lot of that depends on the frost date as well in the area. Yeah. So uh, for, uh, the frost date in this area, um, I, I did a lot of research, cause, and they all say something different. But I averaged it out right. that by by May eighth, you should be fine in the in southeast. Okay. Uh, and I think my grandfather taught me, and my grandfather was a huge gardener, and he's and his. Oh, I've seen some of those pictures yeah. that you posted. Those tomato plants, yeah, ten he foot, used to grow. ten foot high wow. tomato plants, yeah. yeah. And this is That's all amazing. organic. Wow, he did That's not awesome. do any chemicals at all. Um, but yeah, he uh, he always said that by his birth date, you you were good to go, which was March. I mean May twelfth. So I would say right. Mother's so, Day. That right was on. what I was gonna say. I always was told Mother's Day. Okay. So wait. And, you know, of course, they start pushing them in April and you go and you see all these plants. You're like, I want a garden and I want right. to be ready for spring. But no, my friend, resist. my my friend, my friend pushed <laughs> it last year and, and it and we got a frost and it killed everything. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so here. So here are just a few. Oh, this is what I have listed. Um, and again, I have I have the dates, the times and all that good stuff listed on the blog. You can take a look. But tomatoes, um, they're good to to start indoors uh, cabbage cucumbers lettuce peppers broccoli and cauliflower eggplants celery and melons but the melons you have to make sure that you wait until the soil is super warm and there and you know I, I, I talk about the soils as well like who, what likes the cold and what likes the warm soil because there's some that you can put out even before the frost, even as seedlings, as as little little yeah, plants. There's, there's some hardy varieties that yep. will grow. I think some of the leafy stuff, the like leafy the stuff like cabbage and, and lettuce, cabbage yep. and things like that, you can plant before first frost. Right. You can plant it in beds with um, uh, a high like manure or organic um, content. Right. Because as that starts to break down, it's actually heating the soil naturally. Yeah. Uh, that's one of the things too. Um, Brussels sprouts, I think you could. Start Brussels sprouts, early. you can too, and I don't have that listed on there because there was a. I wasn't sure if it was right for this area from what I was reading, but yeah. but I definitely saw Brussels sprouts when I was looking through the different. Right. There's different vegetables. zones. There's different growth. Zones there is where, where better some plants perform better than mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start my melons inside this year. I'm starting my melons inside I for sure. I started them too late last year and then by the time they came to maturity, my grow season was almost over. And um I'm going to start them inside because I I really am antsy to get some watermelons growing. So they year. say mm. 3 to 4 weeks prior to the frost date. They're good okay. with grain. And then they say wait two or more weeks because they definitely need warm soil. Did you hear what she said? No. <laughs> the watermelons are good with grain. Like grain alcohol. Yeah, they are. Like, or vodka. I agree vodka. with Lisa. Vodka works too. You don't even know? <laughs> yep. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> happy Zen Mama. Happy Zen Mama's keeping it happy here. I got it. <laughs> Staying on brand. <laughs> so that's what my that's what that's what the blog's about this week. Right. Um so we have some events going on. Uh, so this one I picked up. I, I love it. Um, it's Eat Local March Madness Contest. Yeah. Um, building a business, be building a better Boyer <laughs> we've Town. All been, we've all been struggling <laughs> with that one tonight. Building yeah. a better Boyer B -B -B. Town. BBB. <laughs> yeah, BBB. -B -B. There you go. B -B. A BBB. <laughs> BBB. Um, you know, just had their uh, Eat Local contest. Right. which was great. It was, you know, you eat at local, but it's finished. So I'm, I'm not going to talk it up too much. This is, um, this is just merely a pure 
contest. You don't have to do really anything except for vote. Um, okay. This is hosted by uh, where is the name of the site? It is Hello Four Twenty Two. Mm-hmm. You yes. can see it on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, I believe that's Chris Lurch. You might be He's right. The guy who operates Hello Four Twenty Two. Again, they're they're. I'm pretty sure that they're organized is. to support the local businesses in the area. Yeah, along, yeah. especially along the 422 Two route. Yeah, right. Yep. Um, so they're holding a contest. It's just like March Madness, um, you know, like the like the basketball brackets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's start, starting with 64 local restaurants. Yeah. And they're breaking it down each every three days. They're doing it. Nice. So you vote for three days. You only you only get a chance to vote once. But you vote for three days, they'll cut that down in half. Then you yeah. can vote you know, again. Vote again, vote again. Nice. So I was in a Zoom meeting. And you can meeting. vote for all. Yeah. You know. I was in a Zoom meeting this morning with Chris Lurch. Oh, really? Yeah. And he was talking about that event. Okay. Um, it was the uh, Hobart's Run Community Leaders Meeting. Okay. Uh, that happens in Pottstown. That's sponsored by the Hill School. And Chris, Chris was on there. Yeah, so I, I, tell, tell I, next time you talk to him, tell him I love I love the I love the event. Maybe maybe we should try to get him on a cast at Clocker. We should. All right, we should. I like. I know that. how to reach out. To Anybody that's supporting local communities, I'm. We want to I, talk. I, I want to talk to him. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah. So they're sixty starting at sixty four. They're bringing it down to one. The the business that wins will get goods and services worth three thousand dollars. And that's donated mm. um, through a different couple organizations, right? Uh, the sixty-four pers- total. The, sixty-four. 64. Yeah. Oh, so they're going to bring okay. it down to one. They will win three thousand dollars of goods and services, and um, they'll also pick a one of the voters randomly, uh, and they will win a hundred dollar gift card to that winning restaurant. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So um, a few restaurants in Boyertown that are on the list. Are the is the Grind Restaurant, mm-hmm. the other Farm Brewery, mm-hmm. and Brakeman's Cafe, which are all great. All places. good, <laughs> yes. yeah, all, all great, great places. places. Yes. So Ugh. we've had we've had to grind on. Yep, mm-hmm. we're we're trying to connect with the other farm. We've had little trouble for some reason. We but keep passing in the night. Yep, something like that. Yeah, and then what was the other one? Brakeman's, Brakeman's. and Brakeman's. yeah, that's another one. That we would like to we're talk to him. Work on that. Yeah, but absolutely. we've had grind for sure. Yeah, uh, Chris Kopecky. Keith. Keith. Keith, I'm sorry. Kopecky. Keith Kopecky Picky. is a friend. Picky <laughs> is a friend of the show. Yes, he is. And you helped him buy the place that he's in. And now. and you know and you know who connected me with the the building, building a better Boyertown. Boyertown. Yep. I just had a conversation with them, and they nice. And they uh, and I had a conversation with Keith, and the next thing you know, there's a deal. There's a there deal. <laughs> and we are so happy to have Keith. Yeah, he's phenomenal. Yeah. We did it. We did a little uh, thing with him. People came in to buy valentines. If they bought a valentine for their sweetie, they get five dollars off a bourbon flight. Cool. So we did that from January one to uh, February thirteenth. Yeah. 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 Keith has always helped. I'm trying to do community stuff as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Big time. Um, So anyway, so eat local March Madness contest. Today is the last day to vote on the first bracket. So if you, so, they're going to break it from sixty four to thirty two, oh. starting tomorrow. So if you're watching, go to hello twenty four twenty two hello four twenty two, and and vote for your your favorites. And um, hopefully we'll have some Boyertown restaurants in there, in the in the mm-hmm. down to the final four. Right. On. I want to see them in the final four. One of them, at least one of them, if not all three of them. That's a Facebook page. It is a Facebook page, yeah. I believe there's and also Instagram. a group. Yep. Yep. Hello yeah. 422. Hello 422. They they are doing a lot of stuff. They pretty much came to prominence at the beginning of the pandemic with the uh, stay-at-home orders and they started doing a lot of things to try to support local business. So, check them out. Always good to hear. Um our Junior Women's Club in Boyertown. We keep talking about this. Yep. This is a great opportunity for people to get involved and actually support the community yeah. and win fabulous prizes. <laughs> oh, beautifully said. Yes, you can you can support the Boyertown Library because that's what this oh, um, nice. 
the uh, what's it called? The <laughs> the girls' night out basket raffle. Mm-hmm. Um, so the Junior Women's Club of Boyertown is hosting that. Uh, Boyertown Library, it supports, and you there's can going win to be a Happy Zen Mama gift card in that. Can you? Yes, sir. Excellent. Yeah, there is. <laughs> you're you're, do, you're yeah. doing a basket. Yeah, I you? I did do a basket. I handed it in, and uh, it will be part of the over hundred baskets that they're probably they usually get. Um, and I actually took your idea because you mentioned on air that you said you always love the um, scratchy. Oh, uh, lottery, lottery tickets. tickets. Yeah. Oh, Is that what she did? So I did. So I got a since since I sell homes. Yeah. I got a home uh, doormat. Okay. And I stuck a whole bunch of nice. lottery tickets. That hundred dollars worth of lottery tickets on there. Fun. And one and of them's got to be a winner, right? And a, do- and a doormat. And a, and a yeah. Doormat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bringing home the cash. It's called. Oh, nice. nice. Yes, That's yes. fun. Good. Thank you. My, yes. my gift cards in well, the magical you, wonders man. vacation basket. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So. Okay. Part of that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so here's two baskets right here that are going to be great prizes. Um, yeah, you could win that. You yeah. can get. I guess you get Zen. Absolutely. And then you go on vacation, or while you're on vacation, you, you get, get even some... more Zen. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that takes place on March 19th and 20th. <laughs> And uh, it's twenty five dollars for the admission ticket, which also gives you twenty five raffle tickets. You can buy more Fantastic. on the date of the event. Um, all you have to do is go to the Boyertown Library to pick up a ticket. Uh, tickets sell fast. Um, I would be surprised if I'm talking about it next week, but I will if it's still tickets are available. So hurry up, get the tickets, and um, you know, possibly win some baskets. They're all good. I've been watching. I've been watching them as they come in. She posts them. You can yeah. go onto nice. the site and and see all the baskets that are posted so far. I think they're up to sixty something at this point, but I guarantee you they're going to get over a hundred. There's going to be more. There yeah. was she, Bridget told us that last year there was like a hundred and thirty baskets that were yep. available. Wow. Yeah, and that's the Junior Women's League, correct? Uh, yes. yes. Junior Women's, Women's Club. Club. Yeah. Boy so Jenna. all you have to do is just Google that. Yeah. Just. Just Google it. Yeah. What is it? Junior. There's women. Junior Women's Club of Boyertown. Just put that into your search engine, and it's gonna pop right up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could probably even put in Boyertown basket raffle, anything like that. It'll come up. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. We have. Or go the... to the library and read a book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the. Go to the That's the easiest. You don't even have to look. Just go and buy your ticket. We're right. still working on the library. We, we're either going to go to the library. The library is going to come to us in one way, shape, or form. We're still trying to work out those details. We have a very camera-shy library. <laughs> we do. Uh, we're trying to work around that. This was the children's library. Was it? Yeah. At one point yeah. in time? Mm-hmm. Okay. I got a mm-hmm. cough. Excuse me. Yeah, we are in the old library right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. This was half of it, and then the other half is was next door. Yeah. What other events you got? Going what other there? events do I have? Uh, let me see. As we talked about a little bit earlier, all this weekend, MJ's Legacy, she is doing a spring open house where um, she's celebrating spring with a store wide sale, mm-hmm. but also she has an egg hunt egg hunt for the kids. I'm not sure how she's doing that, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> Um, and then she's gonna have raffles, raffles and goodies for everybody. Yeah, sweet. She's yes. I, she's always got goodies there. She's got cookies. Remember? Right. Remember when yeah. she was on the show? She was about <laughs> cookies. I went she in there a cookies. couple of times, and there's cookies there. <laughs> there's cookies there. <laughs> yeah, there's cookies there. That's awesome. Uh, speaking of bundles and yeah. egg hunts, <clears throat> now we're we're almost we done? we're almost done. So it's not even, and I don't think that it even makes any sense to say. Anything. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. no. Well, so we've Go had ahead. a very successful Easter yes. egg bundle at the uh, Glocker. Yes. You had to go onto the page, like the event, and let us know how many Easter egg bundles you wanted. That's all you had to do. It was an Easter egg hunt to go, basically. Oh, we nice. were giving you everything you needed to oh, do the Easter so egg hunt sweet. at your house. Aww. You could get up to five bundles. There's 20 eggs per bundle very filled with cool. goodies. And all you do is just say, I need this many. And go pick it up. 
check in with the ladies at Glocker Real Estate. There's Insurance. still some available. Check in with them. Yeah. There could be still some available. But thanks for everybody for making that a a, a successful event. There was we like, thought that was going to last throughout the month. There was four thousand eggs. Wow, four thousand. <laughs> we just announced it last week, and they're oh, almost nice. already out of eggs. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, yeah. that right, is cool. that's yeah. good. It's super good. Super. Um, so this Saturday and Sunday, the Peppermint Stick Candy Store. Right you, across you know the them, street. Right? Yep. right across the street. Yep. Uh, she's having her Girl Scout Cookie Sunday celebration. Mm. So this mm. uh, this she's is benefits me. the <laughs> those this Samoas. Be- yeah. This benefits the Boyertown Girl Scout Troop 1759. Um, they're going to have uh, Girl Scout cook- cookie themed Sundays, and 50 cents from each Sunday sold will be donated to support uh troop 1759 nice yep and uh that and many more things are going on in and around boyertown coming out of high bear nation april 17th yeah i just i do weekly every so every this blog is every week and i guarantee i will be i will be actually highlighting that event because uh i i'm looking forward to it and and any of the big oh, events in Boyertown, I, I highlight. I'm yeah. ready to come out of hibernation. <laughs> it was this last little stretch of the winter that mm. kind of, with the weather and everything. And I usually enjoy snow and whatnot. Yeah. But just for this year, for some reason, it was just that added. Well, there's not for been, some reason. No, we've <laughs> we been know cooped the reason. up for a whole year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the extra cooped upness yeah. of those couple of snowstorms in a row. No, I'm sure everybody, including myself, has crazy spring fever right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's one thing that actually helped me because I have little kids still is the snow because they oh, had so right. much fun in the snow That's they fun. they had even till the last snowstorm they they had lots of fun in the snow and so that helped me with this but but yes i'm i'm ready to burst at this point i think <laughs> right on friday night fry fry yeah <laughs> shake, shake. shake tomorrow no is friday that... <laughs> today's no. wednesday i know i thought it was you tomorrow too <laughs> i'm telling you this is, <laughs> the days Friday. just pile up <laughs> Friday. 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 Sip and shop. Four to six. <laughs> Love it. Get out here. Yeah. Complimentary Mark. wine. Come on. Yeah. Right? Anything free is good, right? Wine. Especially when it's Not wine. anything free. Get yourself a candle. Get yourself a candle. <laughs> Get yourself some CBD. Come out Friday. Four to six. Yep. 31 East Philadelphia Avenue in the lovely borough of Boyertown. Yes. March 17th, Wednesday, St. Wednesday. Patrick's Day. Mm-hmm. Is... Unwind Wednesday. Go onto our website for more information and tickets. How often do you do we that? Because we do it the third Wednesday of every month, third and we Wednesday. are limited because we're... COVID. Doing, yes, because COVID. So we do cap it at... We say 12, but 10 is probably good. <laughs> gotcha. But technically, because we are such a large space, which you've only seen this much, it goes on. It does go on and on. It yeah. goes on. Um, our our max number is 50. Okay. But you can spread But it legally, right. 50. Then yeah. COVID, 25. So we'd be happy with 10. That That's a good number. And it probably makes it for a little bit more intimate experience exactly. for the people that come in. Right? Yes, yes. More like personal one on one. Oh, yeah. Last month we had uh, someone back there doing chair massages. Yes. Get your Zen on. Get mm-hmm. your Zen on. Do you want to? There's, I see some people talking, some, some chatter on Facebook here. There is Do you, some of it. Some Can, I've I've been trying to keep up. I, I really don't see a lot of questions on my thing. I'm not so uh, good at reading sometimes. Matt <laughs> Matt has bad hearing and I have bad eyes. Pat Pat <laughs> from Glock. We we love Pat is saying um, she's going to take an extra long lunch hour on Friday to sip and shop. She's going to do some fry yay in. That's what she's saying. Yay. Yay. Yeah. But maybe if you get your work done early, just blow off at four. Yeah. And yes. head, up, head down because remember it's four to six. There you go. Uh, Margie Harner is talking about the cookies that she always mm-hmm. has when you go to her place. Pat Love the saying, cookies. Uh, she had a measuring stick. 
I don't, I don't understand what she's saying. For the snow, maybe? People are we talking hope. about <laughs> Margie Harner wants one of the tourmaline uh, crystals. Oh, Just yeah. people are just showing their love. I don't see any she must questions have. there. I love the tourmaline. She, <laughs> she must have some petty bitches in her life. <laughs> Wait, I have more of them coming in, too. I didn't get them all yet. So more fun to be had. Stay and tuned. more Zen AF candles on the way. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Nice. So we had a great time today. Oh, so did I, did. you guys. Yeah. Thanks so yep. much. Happy this times with Happy Zen Mama. We're already up to an hour and 16. Woo! Believe it or not. Yeah. See right? that? Hey, listen, folks, if you want to get on the cast at Glocker like Lisa did, just reach out to us at Glocker Realty and Insurance. We're very easy to find. You can shoot Jen, our producer, an email, jen at glocker.com. It doesn't get any easier than that. It doesn't get any easier than that. Yeah. Reach out to Jeff or I if you would like to get on the show. Reach out to any one of our professional real estate agents if you have questions about buying selling real estate in Boyertown specifically or the Matt and Jeff area. you should, you <laughs> might want to start with Matt and Jeff since we're putting cuz they're the coolest in. But if you know one of our real estate right. agents start with who you know So that's right yes start with who you know yeah at Glocker Realty and Insurance uh tomorrow at 5.30, a little bit of a change in time. You will find me on my other live stream called Porch Kids. Why the change in time, Pots Matt? Now. I have showings. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Work I've comes first, right? <laughs> I've got to make some money yep. before I market my business. <laughs> yes. There has to be something to market. <laughs> so That reminds me, our clients are number one. Clients are number one. That's right. So Porchcast Pottstown is going to start at 5.30 tomorrow. We're going to be bringing you news, updates, and conversation for Pottstown. Excellent. And the surrounding community. Always a good time. Mm -hmm. I watch. I love it. Mm -hmm. I have a new listing coming down, 42 Chestnut Street in the borough of Pottstown. Three bed, two and a half bath, fully renovated, fully rehabilitated colonial or not colonial it's a federal style nice. i saw i saw the oh, outside nice. picture today yeah. i did not see the interior pictures but the outside picture alone looks great I'm building a little uh <laughs> building a little uh yeah you know, build up right build up for <laughs> hey you got excitement you got my curiosity going it's a beautiful place they did a great job they, and Lots that's with who find solutions properties. they always do a great job leaders in the industry yep Leaders in the industry. I saw that, and I like that. I like that term because they really are. They do a great job. Yep. A combination of historic um, architecture and modern amenities in the borough of Pottstown. 42 Chestnut Beautiful. Street. Keep nice. your eyes peeled. Yes. Jeff, what do It you won't last about? long. I can guarantee you that. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Hours. Right. What do you got going on there? Oh, uh, just go to my blog, check it out. We talked about that enough, I think. But um, if you do have any interest in buying or selling, I'm here and uh, and uh, happy to assist. Yep. There you Jeff go. Jeff at – wait, no, at Jeff at Glocker. <laughs> right. Just at, that's what you search, at with at symbol, Jeff at Glocker. And it'll pop up. It will pop – all pop up, yep. Lisa, happy Zen mama. Yes. Yay. 31 East Philadelphia Avenue, Boyertown. Happy Zen Mama on Facebook. Instagram? Yep. Happy Zen Mama 68. Happy Zen Mama 68, Facebook and Instagram. And Becker Pick Home. Up. Yep. We've thrown out the information. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you really so much for coming. Show. It was such a pleasure. Yeah, we were, it was, it was great being here. Time. Absolutely. Yes. And if anybody needs us to smell anything, we'll be happy to help you with that. <laughs> I have yes. a whole nother line back here with scents you can smell. My Hannah Herbals. Mm -hmm. Hit us up. <laughs> Hit us up. This has been the cast at Glocker. We'll see you next Wednesday at 6-ish. It's 6-ish. Six <laughs> Glocker Realty and Insurance on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for checking us out, folks. Thank you. Thank you.